Hi, it's Yash. <clears throat> Should a man pursue a woman? See, there's no, there's no direct, specific answer for this. This isn't like a, a good idea that that we want to pursue, and in or a, a technique or or something. You know, <clears throat> this is automatic. Actually, to be honest, if you if it's in you, you still have desires to have certain experiences with women in relationship, then you're going to pursue, and you have the desire to pursue them, and they're not all coming to you, then you're going to pursue them on some level. Even the monks and uh, celibates that are <clears throat> in ashrams or somewhere, they're physically made to where they can't pursue women, but in their mind, they're still pursuing women. So you're still pursuing women. You see, it's about karma. It's about, like, where are we at? What, what desires do we have? There's some desires that are very deep. So if we have a desire to want to have a family or to have, uh, you know, kids, etc., or just taste the, the relationship of how it feels to be with a woman and, and to have a, a deep love for each other and to share that. If, if those desires are there then you're going to be, you're going to even, there's different levels of pursuing too, you know, you running after them or you just, you kind of, you kind of open, you're watching, hoping a little bit, there's different levels. But if those desires are there, you're going to be pursuing a woman somehow, some way. So let's go to the core again. Um, let's, let's assume a man, he, he's already experienced whether this this life or previous lives, uh, having a family, being married, and <clears throat> being the man of the house, taking care, everything. Uh, let's say he's, he's already done that multiple times. He's probably going to incarnate in this body this time without those inclinations and tendencies. They used to tell me when I when I was younger, oh, I don't, because I they'd say, what do you think about marriage or something? When I was a teenager, I said, no, no, I don't have any um, any feeling at all. So I'll wait till you get older. Then I'm in my twenties, same thing. Then thirties, uh, you're, you're gonna you're, you're gonna find it. Now forties, they don't tell me that anymore. <laughs> I just knew it was never in me to to experience that. My desire was for truth in the highest sense, for total realization of what I really am beyond this human form. I didn't want to be stuck again, and you know, on the level of just having experiences. Like, because they all were always temporary. So it's like, what can I find that is real and that's satiating and that doesn't stop being satiating, that doesn't wear off? So this was always my destiny. You know? um, so if, let's say a man, let's say he's either <clears throat> awakened being. You notice a lot of awakened beings, they don't, they don't have uh, uh, wives or wives. I mean, in India, it's different because you're, that's just part of the culture. You get married, they give you a wife. But even then, uh, he explains to her, like, this isn't a, a normal marriage, you know. And <laughs> fortunately, he attracts a good girl that understands that. And then their whole relationship's different anyway. It's not a, your typical man-woman uh, romance or, or, or marriage. So either, if a being is, is really came into the fullness of himself or somebody who's really inspired aspiring to recognize their self their their devotion and love is going to be for that or for god or for the universe whatever they're not going to there's not going to be a lot of space left for your normal stereotypical marriage see the girl is going to feel that now most the, 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 they'll think maybe you don't like them enough, you know, and you can even explain, say no, no, but my heart is is with with God, and this is where this is where my real devotion is, and you know you, you just got to see most most are most want to feel this passionate, hot, kind of sticky, dualistic type of love, you know, fight, and then you and then you make up and have sex. Oh, that feels good. They like that duality. And we all have to taste that for a while. So I'm trying. I'm trying to share on all the different levels, you know. 
There's no, there's no one right way. You can't, you can't not pursue a woman as a technique because you think that's best. It has to be organic, you know. That's why this renunciation, you know, a lot of these monks in the ashrams, they just, it's, it sounds like a real good idea. I'm just going to renounce everything. But inside, they didn't renounce it. They're still, it's, it's, it has righteousness, restlessness, and it makes them restless. I've seen it. I've been there. So this stuff has to happen organically. Mm. So a real man that's, he's found himself, he also, he has his own path. He's, he's connected. <clears throat> the destiny's already set. He's not going to compromise that for a woman. He, he can't. It's not personal. It's not like, it's not a, you know, a contest. Like, I'm not going to give in type thing. It's just he sees, he sees very clear that uh, the universe has gave him this role to play, this destiny, this dharma. And he's playing that out. And uh, a woman now, a higher level woman who understands that, but who's, she's just drawn to this man for spiritual reasons. It has to be for that. If it's for economical or, or anything less than spiritual, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work, you know. Uh, so then, that type of relationship, if they're they're both drawn together for some higher spiritual reasons, let's let's say, let's say he he has realized uh, he's realized that he's consciousness. She sees that. She wants to drink from that. So then she connects with him. He has to allow her. When, 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 when that desire is there, it's, that's the most authentic desire. You have to, uh, that kind of surrender, it's not personal, you see. It's universal. Then they can have some relationship. But the relationship may not be that they're going to get married and have kids or have sex. I'm just saying they're going to have a connection, period. That's right. why Krishna had, uh, you can say, because you read the stories, he had many wives. But it's not the way that society might think. It means he had many connections with true uh, devoted female beings who were really hungry for self-realization. And so they um, were drawn to him and he accepted them. So let's see what else. Um, society's just weird. You know, like everything nowadays, it's just all upside down and backwards and and, and I shared, like, in the last video, we're attracted to each other for, for reasons that uh, just aren't pure. Like, the motives are all messed up, you know. And then, and then the, 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 the kids growing up are looking at that, and then they base their, their life on, the, on that model of insanity and delusion. And so everything gets, gets all weird, you know. Um, this, this isn't the highest, uh, the highest uh, relationship. Now... Guys will still always be drawn to the woman. It's, it's not, or drawn to the female energy. Not even, is it drawn? It's more like they appreciate, because they're still wearing the clothes of a, of a male body. So they, they appreciate the female energy. But, but he's, not gonna, he's not gonna pursue that. He doesn't want to make it his. He doesn't want to make it like uh, his, you know, like, here, sign this contract so you're mine. It's not like that. Um, because when you're free, but how do you be free? You see, this is the thing. You have to experience, have sufficient experience in the realm of relationships and romantic love and, and all that so that you taste you taste how it is. You taste all the, the bittersweet parts and the heaven and the hell and, and the whole process and you know how it works and... And uh, it's just not enticing anymore. Any experience is going to be like that. It doesn't matter what it is. That's, that's the whole point and reason why some beings, they just want to give everything up and only find the highest. Because they've already, you, you, you get to the point you try enough things, it's just none of it, none of it gives you something that your, your heart's looking for. Now, some people, they're, they're not conscious enough to feel what their heart's really looking for. That's like a, that voice is very quiet. They can't hear it yet. 
because they're in the mode of experience and and let me try this and oh this is fun and oh that's a great dopamine hit I want to do that again they're they're in that realm so you're not going to hear that voice after a while I mean at first but after you do all that stuff for a while for lifetimes you burn out on it and then uh, something you're just not attracted to it anymore uh, it's like roller coasters like I loved roller coasters when I was growing up and I just loved it and then after some years it's like okay now they make me dizzy <laughs> um, I, I enjoyed the full spectrum of the roller coasters I feel that that's what happened with me in, in, in relationships I've had I've had like the four best girls maybe three and a half that I've ever had in my life and I can't I can't fantasize about a better situation or um, or uh, connection with a girl I've, I've just experienced it you know and so I'm not I'm not drawn to it now I'm not trying not to be drawn to it. I'm spiritual. I'm not going to be drawn. No, I just, I'm not drawn to it. So it's organic. When something's organic, this is best. And it has to be like that. You know? Otherwise, you're, you're holding the spring down, like the people in the ashram, and then at some point it's going to pop up. It's better to just go full, just accept, admit, write your desire list, accept what, what you want to experience, and... Uh, Allow, allow yourself to manifest that so that you can have the experience so that what's the main point you can see the the um, it's not a big deal <laughs> this is the main point not to set it the main point isn't to get something because you think it's going to give you like some permanent joy like we should know by now that's not going to work so the main point to is to uh, just kind of burn that karma off that it keeps saying oh I need this I just this is going to be so great taste that so that you see, you see, yeah, it's okay, but um, it's not the highest. And at some point, that's all your desire is going to be is to realize the highest, which is to realize that your consciousness. But once you taste that sufficiently, you can't go back. You can't go anywhere. You, you've tasted the ultimate, and so you just want to, to merge and fuse more and more and more with that. When that happens, it's just not possible to have many desires anymore. You can have them superficially. And you can fully enjoy and love totally. I can love much better now than, um, or deeper or more pure than when uh, I was stuck on this, you know, this, this lower level of duality of, of um, I want the girl to be my girlfriend and she's mine and, and oh, she's going to make me so happy and, and then all the neediness and attachment. That wasn't real love. That's, that was very conditional. I loved her if she did what she was supposed to do, <laughs> according to my mind, and I not so much if she didn't. <clears throat> so that's the other thing about this uh, love. The love, when it's a more of a divine love, it's, it's more cool. It has a cool. The temperature is cooler. It's not this hot, passionate love. When it's hot and passionate, it's going to turn into its opposite uh, at some point soon. You see, it's it's a more balanced love and a lot of women they don't um they don't resonate with that they just like i said they think you don't like them i wanted to make balance with one thing before i stop uh the i mentioned before see generally speaking if percentages hold it's the man has has some self-realization and the woman is attracted to that but it can also be the opposite and it has, like with uh, Gangaji, uh, it said that her husband, um, that she, she became awake and her husband wasn't, and then later became, and so he was drinking from her bottle of uh, realization. So it doesn't, it can be either or, but um, my example still, still stands, which is, that's a whole different, it's like a divine love, it's, it's not your, it's not romantic it's a it's a higher love both people are only focused on the highest and one is kind of is using each other using the other for that we're all using each other all the time period okay this it's there's the one consciousness is using itself in different forms but that's the highest way to be used or to use is for self-realization and so hope you got something from that good 15 minutes see you later